Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we get into the middle of the trading week, I've just heard reports that the American arm of Volkswagen has released an early April Fool's joke to say that they were going to change their name to Volkswagen as they jump on the back of the American electric vehicle industry. It was initially said to mark Volkswagen's shift into electric vehicles and yesterday the car maker went as far as change its name on its US website and actually opened a Twitter account as well. Uh, the Volkswagen Group has long supported the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement and aims to become carbon neutral by 2050. And it says that it's also going to sell 1 million electric cars by 2025. So just to reiterate, the American leg will not change its name to Volkswagen. It's just a April Fool's joke that's just kind of got out of hand in the last few days. And keeping with the European motor industry, I've just been keeping an eye on Daimler's performance as its shares have supposedly skyrocketed 170% since last year, since the first wave of the pandemic really had that detrimental downturn and economic downturn around the world as well. Um, so the legal uh, risks around emissions linger, however, as the company agreed last year to pay out approximately $2.2 billion in penalties and settlements to resolve diesel issues in America, but it remains subject to investigation in Germany and elsewhere. So we have to see if that's going to weigh in on prices. Currently, um, traders and investors are kind of ignoring these emission headlines and they're just obviously, you know, putting the price of the stock higher and higher. So let's, the last time I looked at Volkswagen a couple of weeks ago, I just wanted to bring it down on the intraday chart. I usually look at the daily charts, but I'm looking at the intraday chart today as I saw recently that we did have a bit of engulfment in the Ichimoku cloud, which threatened to push prices lower. But as you can see here on the bottom border, we saw a nice support at roughly the 217 area. And then prices have again shot up even more so now I'm just looking to see if we're going to break this false spike as we're going to record highs at the moment and obviously you know in the long term we're just hovering under 250 now and obviously the next step will be 300 so we'll just see if that's going to play out anytime soon not seeing too much in the way of divergences on the RSI however if prices do start to push higher and we see a bit of negativity on the RSI, then they could be in line for a slight divergence to bring prices lower. But we'll see intraday what that's going to be. What I'm looking at the moment is if we're going to hit this top, we might see a rejection and a fall lower to the top border of the Ichimoku cloud. So this is where I'll be focusing today for Volkswagen to see if I can make some slight profits, possibly putting in a sell limit position as prices move higher. So just something to look out for intraday and also on Daimler. I'm just looking again, Daimler obviously shooting for record highs as well, but you know, we're seeing a slight bearish divergence at the moment. I'm just seeing if that's going to weigh in on prices and if we're going to see a, reject, a rejection at the top here, roughly about the 76 area. So as we get to this point here, I'm going to see if it breaks. If prices start to wane, then naturally I think I'm going to put in a sell position to come to the lower border sorry the, the border of the Ichimoku cloud and then see if this choppiness uh, continues to manifest so as you can see here a bit of a choppy price action for the last couple of sessions and I'll see if that continues obviously slightly going slightly higher in a bit of a ascending channel uh, don't get me wrong I am expecting prices possibly keeps pushing upwards but we'll just see how the confluence of these areas really comes into play as we get into the back end of the trading week as well. So just to reiterate, looking on European stocks in the motor industry and seeing what the potentials are, obviously still looking to see if France and, Lock and Germany will continue their lockdowns and if that's going to weigh in on manufacturing and industry as well as you know, obviously Europe wants to try and get out of this second wave of the pandemic and not really slump into a third wave. So, you know, pandemic reports are important as well to keep an eye on, uh, as well as obviously other headlines around the motor industry, in, well, with BMW, Volkswagen, Daimler, etc., especially the European market and seeing what the opportunities are and what's in store as obviously we go, we come out of Q2 
um, yep, Q2 tomorrow, sorry, and we go into, um, sorry, we, we go into Q2 from tomorrow. So this will be something uh, to keep an eye on for the rest of the trading week. And as I said, into next month as well. So that's all from the Stockwatch today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any comments or queries, please feel free to add them to the post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great trading day ahead and bye for now. Thank you.